Yeah, she got so yeah, big. It's really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 She's like nine years old. I think it's good that she can come out with everybody. I got out of my bed just going to. And I looked up for it. Sorry for your loss. I'm 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 sorry for your loss. Baby boy. What do you think Dad would have thought of all this? What I think? Oh, he would have found something or someone to be mad at. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably would have said the flowers were all wrong, oh, and, and complained about who did and who didn't give speeches. Oh, who, who, who let Loretta sing those songs, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Why you invite Johnny Watley? You, you know, know damn, damn well, well he owe me, me five dollars. <laughs> 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 It's okay, baby. by all the things you do and continue to do for me. And I know your father would have been proud of everything you did for him to make the day special. Yeah. Why don't you go upstairs and get some rest? I love you. Hey, boy, it's your dad. Just calling to tell you about your no-good cousin. Uh, uh, hold on, son. A woman, you know your nephew is no good. Well, he shouldn't steal so damn much if he doesn't want people calling him a thief. I ain't saying you are no good. I am saying he is no good. You know damn well he owe me money. I don't give a damn if it's only five dollars. It's about the principles. <sighs> anyway, uh, son, uh, tell the kids Papa misses them. I'll see them soon. And your mama says she loves you. Yes.
besser. Is your mama downstairs? Huh? Is that no good fool Eddie Jackson down there? He better not have been at my damn funeral. You know he was always jealous that I got with your mama. Cheap suit wearing, jealous bastard. He never did stop trying. I'd come home after work and there he was in my house telling bad jokes with this piece of shit town car leaking oil all over my goddamn driveway. You know, he still owed me $20. Hmm. Disrespectful lad, mother. Hey. Hey. Hey, it's for horses, boy. If I only taught you one thing in this life, it's how to say hello properly. It really is you, Dad. Now, why are you up here while everyone else is downstairs? Didn't your mother raise you with any manners? She's the one that told me to come up here. You just left your sister and your mama downstairs with her crazy family? With your Auntie June? Who's watching her and her badass kids? You know they steal. Dad, sing it. How and and why are you here? Well, that uh, I don't know. I I just remember waking up in the basement over here and your loud, ignorant ass cousins outside arguing about who was getting my watches. <laughs> Well, yeah, I worked hard for them watches. Uh, you know, one of them's a retirement gift. Yeah. Now, I didn't exactly get a chance to make a will, boy, so... Dad, uh, I don't know how long we have here together, um, or how any of this works, but maybe we shouldn't spend our time arguing, especially over some fake whoa, 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 gold. Whoa, 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 that gold ain't fake, boy. But I suppose you are right. Um, so what you want to talk about? Life, death, uh, the other side, women? No, no. You and Elise have a problem? No. I don't want to talk about women with whatever version of my father this is. Because <sighs> I don't know a damn thing about him. <laughs> uh, your mother was a mystery to me from the moment we met to the day I... Uh, Meaning to ask you something. Well, if it's about some money I owe you, I can't pay you back uh, now. No, it's, it's, uh... Um... Boy, just say it. Do you remember that day in Little League? When I was pitching in the final? That's what you want to talk about? Some meaningless baseball game 20 years ago? Whatever. It's just been bugging me. And I was going to ask you about it, but I ran out of time. All right, all right. Uh, I think I remember that game. Uh, uh, I was there with your sister. Mm -hmm. Boy, you were throwing heat that day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Got hit in the face by a line drive during the third inning, and Mr. Clark had to drive me home. That game wasn't meaningless to me, Dad. And neither were all those missed back-to-school nights. Or trips to... Uncle Buddy's lake house without you there to teach me how to swim. Mom said you weren't even in the hospital room when I was born. Son, I was. That is bullshit, and you know it. It was always Mom, Auntie Jane, and Uncle Mel, but it was never you. 
Where were you? Where were you when I needed my father? You know I was always working long hours. Yeah, well, Mom worked too and went to school, but she was there. But, there she was there. Who do you think helped pay for her school, boy? For you, your school, for your sister's school. Who do you think paid for that Little League game? Who put gas in the car to get you to Uncle Buddy's? When I was working overtime shifts in winter for weeks straight so that you and your sister could have food in your bellies, heat to keep you warm at night, and presents under the tree, I did that. I sacrificed my body so that you and your sister could have more than I ever had. That's not what I mean, and you know it. I appreciate all the hard work and sacrifices you and Bob both made for Nicole and I. But I needed you there to be my father. Not my financier. To chase the monsters away. You know, to pick me up when I fell and, and tell me it was going to be okay. To fall asleep in your arms. You know how the snow fell outside? I wanted to be there for you. I, I wanted to be there for nothing more than life, to be there for you and your sister, but... Mom got pregnant. We were just kids ourselves. She had to drop out of college. I got rejected by the army. I was terrified. Your mama would always say, it will all work out in the end, but her words didn't help me sleep at night. I didn't know what to do. Or how I would even do it. I just knew I had to do something. Why are you so scared? I didn't want to fuck it up. He did. Your grandfather. My father, he never. I didn't know how to raise a family. I didn't even have the slightest clue how to be a dad, let alone a good one. It was all supposed to be so simple. Your folks should be your first loves, your first heroes. But sometimes they end up being the first to disappoint you. The First to hurt you. The first you hate. I'm not ready to lose my dad. Son, you are never gonna lose. I love you. I know it, it's not something we say in this family. And I know how hard it is for you, for us to say how we feel about each other. But I don't know how I'm, I'm gonna do this without you. And me. I know my failings as a father, as a husband, as a man. Son, you don't have to be anything more than who you are. You are everything I wish I had the courage to be.
think it's your mother? Henry. Just a minute. I need to go, son. I love you. I love you too. 